we cut, skipping cut scenes. Yes. Yeah, I'm okay. You guys enjoy my yeah. suffering, I'm gonna enjoy your suffering. Deal with it. <laughs> Welcome, Birkett. Yes, <laughs> suffer for me. <laughs> we will suffer together. <laughs> and yes, um, in case you're wondering, Matilda. In case you're wondering, uh, Matilda just called her mother. Or Told her mother to go My fuck herself. Hello, Zakel. Welcome to Strem. When he'd go on a mission that kept him away from home, I'd tell him in frustration to go dance with his angels. Matilda grew up hearing this, and now she uses it all the time. There's a nice view of the King's Bridge from our house. You know, for kids. I, I do like the look of Grace Marriott. It's such city, it's so pretty. Bridge, you can make out an Especially an invasion of Grace Marriott. Which is even more famous than the bridge. My daughter Matilda is going there on a field trip today. In the throne room rests the Golden King. He's been smiling for a Gotta keep the this game clear is going. Yeah. Um, I think I've got on this file alone 11 clears. But on my 360, I've gotten like 50. And that's not counting free missions. This is a great game. I, I love it. Subtitles of each mission. Attention, all pilots. Our capital city, Grace Maria, is under attack by unknown aircraft. Damage from the attacks is widespread throughout the city. All planes scramble and intercept all threats immediately. This speed run for Vitose on normal. I mean, it's not hard. Just go for the bombers. Alright, now for the hard part. Deciding which plane to use. Uh, how blonde do you have to be to not realize a building disappearing in a pillar of flame is a bad thing? <laughs> oh, both scores me. Oh. I mean, the way A6 works in regards to rank um, time isn't really a factor other than the mission timer um, the game doesn't take care how long you do it or it takes you to complete the mission all they care about is how many enemies did you destroy so you can take all the time you want but if you clear about 90% of the enemies you're getting that S rank Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go with Strike Eagle. So you score 
the same points than the others, then the time takes impact. I'm talking about action. I don't know anything about leaderboards. Um, I don't pay attention to them because uh, all I care about is the kill account. <laughs> um, and since I'm not, I mean, I don't think uh, the official A6 leaderboard servers are online anymore. So should we go with the Maria or the Active? Let's go with the Active. Garuda team, time to take off. Spoken like a true merc, especially get paid by the target like Sakari. <laughs> I mean, I don't get paid by the kill count, but that's the only thing that a Marion High Command cares about is how much of the enemy did you kill? Bridge are we talking about? We've got like 11 bridges in Grace Maria. <laughs> and I counted, there's like 11 or 12. Called the King's Bridge. Never was good with directions anyhow. Garuda team, you are authorized to engage any hostile aircraft above Grace Maria. Roger that. May the Golden King smile upon us. Mission one, start. Back when the XMAs actually were able to hit things. This song's great. The violins are amazing. You should be able to hold out against them. Garuda one, we've almost got them. Let's do this one plane at a time. Yeah, I'm 
gonna hold on to my uh, Amrams for the Stricken Stomp. for the mission update. <laughs> you know what I'll do. Embus inbound! Karuna team, watch your necks out there. Stick with close range targets and run them down. Also, the gunplay in A6 is so great. I honestly think the gun in A6 is better than the gun in Project Wing. I'm saving the Rafals till I get higher on the assault bar. Because I don't want to advance the mission too quick. That's a big one. See, I didn't even target the airborne tanks. <laughs> Friendly AI did all that work. I know yesterday I uh, asked you guys who you think would win for the uh, Pacific Federation versus Osea. I'll ask you a similar question. The Pacific Federation Radar or Ameria? In gun range. Who wins? Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Box two. This it takes firepower. Personally, I think it's going to be a merry hands down. Because they're the most competent fighting force in Strange Reel. Fox 5. I don't know what Fox 5 actually is.
I know Fox 1 is semi-active uh, radar. Fox 2 is infrared. Fox 3 is radar guided. Things just in like driving slash. Okay. Talisman has locked on. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you. Let's take out the rifles. We're at the service ceiling. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Kiss that photon, blitz metal goodbye. I have so much problems getting that one because I go after all the targets. I have never gotten the photon blitz. Talisman is a Boy Scout. Unlike a lot of the um, protagonists, Talisman actually isn't psychopathic or sociopathic. Almost at a full assault bar. I'll take it. That one 
I first played this game, Nimbus was kind of a wake-up call. Because, like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Missiles. Caution, stricken squadron. Alright, let engagement not advice. We're engaging <laughs> Stricken Squadron. We're gonna stomp the lights out. I know the game wants you to to uh retreat. But uh once you get uh, especially an SP game, um yeah. Let's don't kill Toshis. Tosha is scripted to survive. He will always survive. Same with Wojciech. Warning. Additional enemy planes have been spotted on radar. You don't want to know how many. I know you've played this 30 times, but other people in the chat haven't. It's alright. That's largely why I'm replaying this, because a lot of people, or newer people, haven't seen me stream this game. Let's go ahead and go. This is Garuda two to Garuda one. We really should get out of here. We no longer have allied support, and I'm out of Amrams. And we only got four minutes. And there have been plenty of times where, after Strigan leaves, I'd start going on a rampage and run out of time. See, time doesn't matter. There is no time bonus. Valiant efforts on the battlefield, but our capital, Grace Maria, has been temporarily occupied by Estevakian forces, and our central government has been usurped by them as well. The nation of Estevakia had declared war with our country, as it simultaneously launched a surprise attack on Grace Maria. In response, the Republic of Emeria's political council unanimously adopted a resolution of open war against the Federal Republic of Estovakia. Our forces remaining on the Amerian mainland are still fighting in desperation to protect our country. Once our intelligence has been sorted and confirmed, the Republic of Amerias armed forces must immediately regroup and counterattack against the Federal Republic of Estovakia. <laughs> no, I know. It's the beautiful country drink. of Amerias belongs to us, <laughs> and only us. That's it's what I love people. about A6, is they give you all the time you need and then some, and they're like, we're not going to rush you. Have fun and get as much points as you possibly can. We got six strigans. Six of eight. Fire and smoke rises from the city before me. The king's bridge is gone. No. Matilda! 
And thus a thousand something memes are born. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. A night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars. That night, your father and I made countless wishes together. An asteroid called Ulysses came into Earth's orbit and disintegrated into millions of pieces. Um. Which poured down on Don't know the there there I'm of the opinion As that there we were two the different stars that night. Um fragments from the asteroid localization down on our eastern neighbor Estovac. One the cutscene team which didn't do a very a good job. Deal of their infrastructure and two and the in-game banter the which is amazing. Soon after the yeah, news reported that their nation probably Zakel probably war, one that would last for years. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovacchio were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before long, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. Our military was forced to retreat to Kessin, an island far to the west. My husband, a fighter pilot, also hasn't come home since. Yeah, the the cutscene scripting cold. isn't exactly the best. I am unable to think. The in mission dialogue and banter is fantastic. Ever since we came to the so I'm convinced there were two writing teams and localization teams. I think that's Sergeant McKnight. Or at least his voice actor. <laughs> Yeah. For work that day with the same loving look on his face as always. Although for a while I was convinced that uh, Melissa's husband was Shamrock. So I was kind of like. I go into the crowd on the train and endure. Shamrock doesn't fly a hornet. He flies the whatever I tell him to. Also, side note, A6 did the Hornet dirty. The sucky special weapons. Sparrows, a paltry number of SODs, um, maybe four AGM. Let's get the Hornet. We got the Nosferatu. Technically, Estevaki has the Nosferatu. And Mary didn't get it till after the war. And we will be flying the Nosferatu this playthrough just 
later on. However, we like it. The announcer went on to say that our castle was robbed of countless antiquities that once were elaborately displayed in our castle. Strict fair. Yeah, it was largely because of A6 that I grew to kind of not like the horn at all that much at the beginning because I felt like it wasn't that great of an aircraft given its weapon selection. Um, it really wasn't until um, <laughs> there we go. I will defend that dance of the angels till the day I die. Um, this spark of hope. Yes. But uh, it wasn't until I want to say I played Zero that I actually started appreciating the Hornet. Um, because they gave it anti ship missiles. Um, and Seven redeemed the Hornet by giving it QAAMs. Anti-ship missiles and a railgun. Yeah, a tutorial after mission one. Yeah, uh, A6 is sink or swim, bitch. There's no hand holding here. Now, here's a criminally underused character, Victor Wojciech. of the Estovakian Air Force. I arrived on a train to base Maria. To my detriment, I sustained a leg injury in the early stages of the war. Victor Wojciech is the goat of the Estovakians. The, officer for the, Air Force. the ceiling has collapsed in the central station. From there, the city appears resigned to its fate. Beneath the Estovakian flag. What a pitiful sight. But at least there are no craters to mar the land. They are lucky in that sense. If only we got more time with Wojciech in the skies. Go fuck yourself. You you cannot tell me that Go Dance with the Angels isn't a marrying for Go Fuck Yourself. They will not be so lucky with these documents. What a miserable city this must be with their children in such a state. I wonder why the city is miserable. Maybe it's your fault. <laughs> but you go dance with the angels. <laughs> the fine works of art once displayed in this castle were completely gone before the occupation forces arrived. Well, not all of them. They're still the paintings. The armor of the Golden King, the now, heart and soul. for those of you who know, Along with the how the hell did they move the, the Golden King? I must relay this unfortunate information back. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, you'll find out later. They were quite but those antiquities. For those of you who know, how did they move the Golden King? All right, mission two. Vitoze Aerial Defense. This is your stereotypical first mission of Ace Combat. Um, fly up, shoot down the bombers, land. Same way the Egyptians did. That being fucked if I know. The large-scale formation of Estovakian bombers is heading toward Vitose, a city here on the island of Kese. The enemy's plotting to storm Campania Airport, where our military is stationed, to stamp us out and put an end to this thing. Enemy bombers are approaching Vitose from the north. Our advance team estimates they'll be above the city in about 15 minutes. 
Air units are to cooperate with our radar facilities and resume operations. An enemy takeover of Vitose would mean the ultimate destruction of it's our... It's by you mean like three groups of bombers and escorts? Pretty much. Intercept them at once. Campania. Here. Oh, you're Italian? Nice. Um, yeah, um... A lot of America, especially Western America, gets its, uh inspiration from Italian culture, names, and all that stuff. So, in A7, when Longcaster talks about an Italian bistro, my headcanon is that he's talking about an American bistro. Bartolomeo, Marcello, Rogno, Ortara, Sipley Fields, um, let's see here, what should we pick? Let's go with the Tomcat. The Witch Tomcat. Yes, there are, there are 15 aircraft in um, A6. However, each of them fly very differently. And, technically, each of the DLC aircraft has its own stat block. So, for example, um, the F-15E. Here's the stat block for the base planes. Then, as I keep moving over to the DLC aircraft, you'll notice the stat block changes. And some of them even get uh, different um, weapons. Uh, am amounts. She's AC-7. AC-7 has a lot of aircraft, yes. Um, but, um, if you count each DLC aircraft as a separate aircraft, A-6 goes from 15 to about 72. Yeah. Um, if you see the X's uh, underneath um, the the name or the the boxes, that's how many uh, versions of, of aircraft there are. The first three are vanilla. Every other one is DLC with its own unique stat block, and I they might as well be a separate aircraft. I'm feeling war dog. I'll go with the sparrows. Which plane should I select? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Actually, you get the Phoenix. The XLIA is not that great in this game. Um, the tracking really sucks unless you're beyond visual range. But Shamrock doesn't matter. Garuda team, time to take off. I guess you sure this is the best formation. I mean, we're flying interceptors. Those bombers have passed through the mountains and are still on course for Vitoze. They're here. Head back to Mission the base. Mission two, start. Supplies. You can land there at any time. Oh, I forgot how sluggish the war dog Tomcat is. Yes, nice. They were going into 
going in bomb cat, shut the fuck up. Acting yes, I'm I should not have picked the War Dog one. Um, Ghost Eye, you heard as Schroeder. Ghost Eye's voice actor is Dr. Schroeder. Big fan of the toes, eh? Target hit. Oh, I forgot how sluggish this Tomcat is. I should have picked the Ross Green's one. No, the missile tracking is so much better. Feels kind of like a five sluggish plane. Talisman has locked. <coughs> it. Come on. Garuda one, Fox two. Target hit. Garuda one, missile evaded. Ah, he evaded. I've got a lock. videos of mission failures. <laughs> yeah, I do like the story. I, I've mentioned this in um, the Acepedia server today. Um, and I mentioned it on uh, Sly and I's podcast. H5's story is great, especially on a first playthrough. But the replayability kind of suffers because the flight model is alright, the missile tracking sucks, and a lot of the missions are really gimmicky. Enemy at six
CW's most replayed game. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I should not have launched a sparrow. Bomber number eight confirmed down. Enemy aircraft. No, it's alright. I I knew exactly what you meant. I do the same thing in uh, A7 with Mission 11. It's supposed to be called Fleet Destruction. I call it Siren Song. <sighs> but uh, also, I'm, I saw on the ASP Discord that a lot of people were making uh, digs at the Wingman AI of Ace-5. Granted, it's not that great. But, this Ace-5 was the first time they did uh, controllable Wingman AI. So you have to cut them some slack. And for as good as Shamrock and Pixie are, War Dog had to walk so they could fly. The enemy bombers have been intercepted. Enemy aircraft around the Kessid perimeter have been significantly weakened. Our forces have been I know, right? Of this opportunity to arrange a rank, a I'll take it. I don't give a shit. We expect the I was in a less than ideal plane. Stop taking days to get here. Turns off my key. Days of walking. <laughs> but I know this road ends somewhere up ahead. It's gonna say the same about war yeah. Um there was no need to think about how to cross the river. Didn't that soldier on the tank say they were going Now to what I will give them shit off about is the Ocean AI, the friendly AI, not not the wingman, not war dog, but the other Oceans. They don't do shit. I start to feel it. And things um, go as they are. They had friendly AI in um, Ace Two, Ace Three, and Ace Four. The ISAF allies did more than the Ocean allies. She ate something well. Yeah, I hope she did too. Simply Field, Fortunes of War. Now this is where the game starts to get in the swing of things. Because Invasion of Grace Mary is like a drop kick off a cliff. You've been ordered to start the mission now. Um, the interception op was a success. Enemy air units around Kessel and Vitoze is a snorefest. And the Republic of America's military Simply Field is your first to initiate a uh, multi-role forces participating. Mission and also have established a wide scale is your first mission that introduces the uh, consisting largely uh, of battalions. Concept Our of operations. You get introduced to some and eventually friendly units like Quox, Warlock, Windhover, Skykid, Avalanche. No, Skykid's not yet. Units not yet. Will be simultaneously carrying out various operations on the ground. I they think Skykid comes in as needed. This must be the first time you've ever at Simply Field. Of this scale. A or maybe a good way to get some yeah, Skykid comes in at Simply Field. Godspeed. I think. I gotta look it up. I'm not sure. Hold on. Yeah, uh, Siege on Silvat. Okay. That's where he shows up. 
the first time. Yeah, you have three operations. The quota is two, so you have to complete two to advance. Um, uh, operation A is the center one, and it's best to pick this one second. Um, because Warlock can last a long time. Um, and since they're in the middle, you can start on one of the end ones and go all the, go through. Um, Warlock is a tank unit, and they're supported by, I believe, Windhover. Quox is a smaller scale unit. Um, Operation B is a more time critical one. If you go for Charlie and Alpha, you got to do it quick so Bravo doesn't fail. But if it does, it doesn't matter. They'll show up again next time. They'll just be forced to retreat. Um, they are supported by, I believe, Avalanche, the Hornet Squadron. Charlie is Steel Gunners. They're going after the artillery unit, and they're supported by Yellow Jacket, the, the uh, helicopters. We're going to go with Quox, though. Which should we pick? Um, <laughs> Are you not going to use the name Yellow Jacket for an F-15? <laughs> that would make a lot more sense, but Avalanche is the Hornets. Windhover is the F-16, Sky Kid is Mirages, um, Stingray is A-10s, Hammerhead is B-52s. Um, let's go with the Tornado. Or actually, let's go with Mirages. Mirage doesn't have that much in the way of firepower. Um, Marigold and Hammer. Marigold's great. Uh, he is the uh, essentially uh, supreme commander of the uh, Amerian Navy. Flagship Marigold. Let's go the Tornado. Uh, I don't know how to use these very well. So we're going to go with the anti-ship missile. Garuda 1, which plane should I select? You know what they say. Freedom requires firepower. Helldiver number 3,547. Uh, Shamrock. What should we give Shamrock? Let's give him a warning. My Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. Start. Garuda team, provide cover for our troops on the ground and eliminate all Estomaki ground forces. Choose any area you want to cover. Cross the return line if you need supplies. It's at the south end of the airspace. We've got way more guys than us. Great confidence booster, huh? Let's get on, Garuda One. I 
And that's why I like the anti-ship missiles in this game. Clock's operation start. Sounds like Shredder doing a long cast impersonation. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, both Ghost Eye and uh, Longcaster are very much consummate professionals and have similar uh, timbers to their voice. Box operation complete. Another thing that um, this mission starts to teach you is the Allied support. Um, after you complete a, an operation, the friendly units associated with it are freed up to basically um, support uh, your current operation. Also, if you fly over a friendly ground unit with enemies on your tail, they will start shooting at your enemies people on your tail. It's great. The friendly AI in this game is fantastic. You love the Warlock Leader? Um, I actually think my favorite of the ground units is Quark's. Yeah, you can use allied attack and cover. It will consume your charge on the bar. But, um, if you just fly near allies with enemies on your tail, they will attack. And right now I've got Avalanche following me. Being a passive cover. Anti-aircraft gun destroyed. See, there's Avalanche right on top. Imagine Marigold is Snake Pit following you. Um, believe it or not, if you complete Snake Pit's missions, he will be your pocket ESM for the rest of the mission. It happens. It's great. I love it. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Lock on! Yeah, especially Slim. Yeah. Slim Peak, it really helps to have Snake Pit. Gotcha! Alright. Time to die, tankies! Yeah, um, in case you're wondering, the, um, the A6 LASM is essentially a combination of the A6 
7, LASM, and LAGM. But it can also be used at point blank range. Warlock operation complete. In come the missiles! <laughs> I love Allied Attack! Just cross over the safety line and head back to base if you need supplies. Yes, uh, green needles on a box means an ally is targeting it. Usually that's Shamrock, but um, it, it'll also be any ally activated by allied support, whether it be by cover or attack. Yeah, just like Ace 5. You little bastard. <laughs> this area has been cleared of enemy forces. Mission complete. Get back to base. You sure? Ye Yellow Jacket is a healer unit. That's one step closer to Grace Maria. Garuda 1, I've got a hunch we'll be going home a lot sooner with you on board. It's a UH 9. Here, I'll post the link in the Discord. Thanks to your efforts, we have completed this mission successfully. Emerian forces were able to extend to the center of Kesset, expanding their power in the region. Estevakian forces were driven off the front line and have retreated to Bartolomeo Fortress, which is located in the center of the island. This mission should have given them a good taste of what our forces are capable of. Soon, we've won the bet. <laughs> to drive all Estevakian forces out of Kesset. That's right. But as you can see, we only killed 60% of the total units destroyed on the field. And we killed a lot. 40% of that, of the total mission kill, is your allied units. That's how powerful these guys are. It's not uncommon to have it a 50-50 split or 60-40 like that.
expect a helicopter to go that fast. Um, well, the enemy AI kind of books. Uh, it, it's definitely a thing. They are actually UH-9s. Fictional helicopter. Um... It, it's more akin to the S-70, which, yeah, it does include the Black Hawk. So it's kind of like a, a, a strange real version of the Black Hawk. Bartolomeo Fortress Echoes of Battle This is kind of the end of Act 1 it, and, and on a first playthrough this is more or less your boss fight because you're stuck is in the F-16 for the first Northern four missions the enemy is mainly and this is uh, you, there's three major operations Providing a variety um, of high-level defensive measures and defensive A fortress that you have to take care of, and Strigan comes around to Our harass you. Our unit in this mission is to split into two groups, to the east and west, along with an air unit mainly providing ESN, which gives us three... This is also the last mission on Kassan. team, we need you to cover each of these units in whichever order you feel is necessary. The situation will change depending on which turn a particular battle takes. You'll need to keep in A7 terms, this is basically the final mage mission, if you want to call it that. On the are but it's so much better. Doing all they can to protect our nation. We need you to help guarantee their success on this mission. And success on this mission is measured by how much support you can provide them with. Alright. So... Again, three operations. Operation A, or Alpha, we have to escort Warlock on their route to Bartolomeo, um, which uh, they have to go through armored trains and the like. Operation Bravo, um, we link up with Quarks to destroy some outlying outposts on their way to Mar Mount, Mount Marcello. And then Operation Charlie. We uh, achieve air superiority for Snake Pit. Um, we're going to start with Charlie and then probably head to Quark's. The final mage mission, except you don't get a front row seat to the OC and military's incompetence. <laughs> exactly. Um, I, I do Warlock, um, uh, missions, but Snake Pit is my pocket ESM, so I gotta go with them. And I find the, uh, Quark's route a little bit more fun than Warlock. Let's go with the F2. See, you can't use the excuse that the jets don't have gun cams because you can use the gun cams to ID the target side when the satellites go down. Yeah. Dallas, which plane should I take? How about my weapon? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off.
Action 4, start. Samer, go! Kill! Use the Operation ID device when the battle gets too heavy. Your radar display can be toggled for each operation. All pilots, encircle and protect Snake Mask. Rock's battalion is heading for the first checkpoint at a steady pace. Music is like... Yeah, I, I like the music in A6. Also, unlike Ace-5, when you tell Shamrock to attack, he'll first attack the target you're currently selected on. Then, after that, he will free roam like Disperse. Well, in this one, Garuda Team is basically whatever you pick Shamrock to be. Because um, Garuda Team doesn't really have... At the beginning, it was just a uh, talisman. A team of one. Um, and while the cannon... Aircraft for uh, Garuda is the Strike Eagle. It's basically whatever the player decides. Oh, you little bastard! I'm gonna go in and land and resupply. Snake pit operation complete. Garuda team, get 
Yeah, well, I simply feel you could probably get by the entire mission without resupplying. Uh, Bartolomeo, you need to resupply. Clock separation, start. Especially if you're going for the snake pit operation, because that requires air to air, while the others are air to ground. We'll get to those. Like flying the cannon aircraft in each game. It's five since you only use the A and B models of the Tomcat so they get the D model. Yeah. Um, that one's hard doing the cannon run. Although a cannon run in A6 is actually relatively easy because the strike eagle is just so versatile. You get um, XAGMs, XMA6, and SFFFS. It's basically all you need. The other thing I would add to it would be the anti-ship missile, but I don't think the strike eagle gets those in real life. Either gonna lose Warlock or Clocks. And frankly, of the two, Warlock can take a bigger beating. The Eagle isn't allowed to play with the Warrants and the Tomcats. Although I think there was a proposed F-15N that McDonnell Douglas came up with. It's supposed to be a naval version of it, but I don't think it ever saw the light of day.
Also, if you notice, the return line moved up closer. Box operation complete. Yeah, the, I think the Eagle and the Tomcat are about the same size. Got no flares. Don't get flagged, yeah. Caution, stricken element. Yeah, there are two strigans here. But they're not TGT, so we don't have to fight them. Also, they're really hard to kill. But they're relatively easy to dodge. Engagement not advised. I just tend to ignore them in this mission. Unless you're going to complete the assault record, in which case you need to kill them. But for that, I'd use the CFA-44 and just railgun them. Uh, if you do shoot him down, there is extra dialogue. Our self-propelled artillery has moved into engagement. It just seems like, who are you? I am you, but better. Enemy fortress threat level is even lower now. Maintain current level of engagement. They call you, Mary. Yeah, they do. Extra dialogue in games is always fun. Round target has been eliminated.
nightmare fighting than anything. Missile struck target. I've been able to fight them off in the uh, F-15, or FS-15. Crimson, that is. And, uh, machine in the mantle. It wasn't fun, but I did it. Exception. Like you said, it wasn't fun. But <laughs> Screw you, Strigan. Alright, we will do one more mission. Ania Landing. We have successfully retaken Bartolomeo Fortress. With the successful execution of this mission, Marian forces have regained complete control of Cassett Island. A plan to retake the mainland is now in the works. We're about to get into some serious combat. Yeah, that dialogue won't appear if you shoot him down. The Amerian scum. Because they're not there to say it. Hey, Strigan! Go dance with the angels! Our post at the Iron Bridge was shot to hell by enemy aircraft. Those ever so helpful choppers enough to wait until the last second to come bail us out of that death trap. The three of us are all that's left of our company. Sergeant Torch is our driver. Never knows when to shut up. Sergeant Hobbsbaum never says a damn thing. Man's the gun. And I'm Sergeant McKnight, the captain. Since we're and here's all Sly's first, favorite characters in A6. The Bank Job Boys. Bob is a man of many words. He doesn't say much, but when he does, it is always profound. Says a damn thing, but heck, the man can, he can man the gun. One thing. What the hell are we still doing here? Once we're back on the mainland, we've got to get to that bank before the Estevakians get their filthy paws on our loot. What do we got to lose? What the hell are we still doing here? On your landing, music of the tide. and intelligence to retake the mainland. Soon the Amerian military will initiate an operation designed to take back the Amerian mainland. Our forces on the mainland are growing more exhausted as each day passes. If we don't act soon, they will be wiped out completely. Our bridgehead for disembarking troops on the mainland will be established at Rargam Beach on the western tip of Anya. We're sending in units by air and sea. This is going to be a large-scale mission. So do all you can to see through to like the Kaiser. Enemy. This mission will be divided into multiple units. Two hovercraft units bringing our landing units to shore, and a fleet of ships <laughs> to attack the enemy from out at sea. Our hovercraft. Be sure to switch to the channel DJ Z so we can hear the only song on this broadcast. <laughs> our a brand new day. In order to thoroughly defeat enemy forces close to the sea or in the vicinity of oil fields. 
It would be to our advantage if you could rush to various attack points and take them out before our units have to deal with them. Swift and accurate execution is extremely important in this mission in order to gain a secure foothold. Don't hold back. Show us what you're made of out there. All right, so the three operations here are Operation Alpha, which again is Warlock. This is the main thrust uh, onto Ania on Rargum Beach. They are supported by, I believe, Windover and um, also want communications for ESM. They are located in the middle. So they are the tip of the spear. Bravo! We are once again accompanying Quacks, supported by Yellow Jacket. The point of this operation is to blitz through their blitz and liberate the town of Artara and rush to the airfield at the far northern end of the map. Also, if you take the airfield, you can use it as a re rearm and resupply. Then we have Charlie, uh, led by Marigold, supported by Winover. We sink the fleet and blow up the oil fields. Honestly, there's really no purpose to Charlie. I almost never do it. Unless I'm going for Marigold and uh, other Operation Medals. Um, it's just kind of pointless. Also, in the narratives, why would you blow up your own oil fields? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with Quacks, go through Artara liberate the airfield then rush over to uh, Warlock and help with their landing. Um, let's go back to Let's actually do the Strike Eagle. Five star. This is Warlock Battalion. We'll be disembarking on the Central Coast to take over a stretch of land there. Rock's Battalion here. We're set to disembark on the west side. Take control of Artara and have another unit take the airport behind us. This is Flagship Marigold of the Second Fleet. We are set to destroy the enemy fleet to be some near those oil facilities close to the sea. Garuda Team, your job is to eliminate any threats posed to our forces in each of these combat zones. Yeah, the cat voice. Oh, you like the voice cat? Yeah. Marigold. Marigold's awesome. Um, actually, our, I believe, is Republic. Republic of Ameria Air Force. But I think Ameria is actually more like a it, it's more like a constitutional republic or a constitutional monarchy. Well, 
Or it used to be a monarchy and now it became a republic. Yeah, kind of like England. Or the United Kingdom. In fact, Amaria takes a lot of uh, inspiration from England as well as Italy. The type, my type of play style is I will take enemy damage if it means I will kill my target. No more reinforcements.
Bravo accomplished. Now normally we'd have to go all the way back to the turn line to reload. But we could just wait a couple seconds and oh there we go. Special forces have taken the airport. You're clear to land there for supplies. Land at the airport if you're low on ammo. Turn left. I love this aspect of A6. In mission landing. You will be exposed to enemy fire if you do this, but it's a lot more convenient than the return line. There's also a medal you can get and an achievement for uh, called Needle's Eye for do it for landing uh, mid mission. I think ten times. That's what I call a strafing run.
Operation Alpha complete. Get the black. Uh, I I normally don't kill the blackbird because usually I'm too focused on the ground targets. And by the time I figure out that it's there, it's long gone. Why are you shooting my plane? dumpster fire. <laughs> Amy AC one thirty.
connecting jamming ish. <laughs> I don't want to be jammed. About to land that eagle like the Navy boys do. <laughs> no, I was going too fast. I would have crashed. Zero regard for the landing gear. Yep, that's how the Navy does it. Alrighty. My voice sounds kind of funny. That's probably the headset. As long as the game audio sounds fine, I'm okay. successfully. We are finally able to provide full relief and support to our exhausted forces on the mainland. The Amerian military is in position to advance towards the center of the continent, combine with our forces, fighting the resistance, and take out Estovakian forces. Garuda team, you've really earned a great name for yourselves here. Pull yourselves together and get ready for some action up there. We don't want this to be your last mission. All right. Dare I say it sounds like you're streaming from a cockpit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, after the cutscene, we will call it there. I should have thought because it's getting time for supper for me. No problem. I'm just glad I'm able to stream again. The uh, new internet's so much better. Don't forget to feed chat.
endlessly in search of their love. Matilda's another underrated character. Golden King smile upon us. Yes. We've got a large unit of troops on Rollin. Alright. Um I don't know if I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um probably not. Um I hope to stream Wednesday. Um probably Mass Effect. Let's see where the hell we are on that one. Um then um, Thursday, maybe finish up A7 with the Project Women crossover. Friday, if the stars align, maybe some more Baldur's Gate 3. You're going to ruin things? Uh-oh. Why are you going to ruin things? Um... Saturday, I don't know. Um, maybe Project Wingman. Um, we'll figure it out. May the Golden Street. Thank you, Floof. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, but yeah, we we do need to finish up the Russian aircraft run on Project Wingman. Um, has been banned for stream. But um, we will continue a six with Siege on Silvot um, next week, and um, Redacted. Look for more um, Raz streams to come. And have a good night, everybody. And may the Golden King smile upon y'all. Have a great night.